uh, uh, hello everyone so today we have uh, professor mubarak shah with us uh, it's a great privilege uh, dr shah uh, is the director of uh, crcv center uh, at ucf and he's one of the top researchers in, in computer vision and crcv is like one of the top uh, research group uh, in the us in the world in fact uh, because of him and he he wanted to uh, share like uh, uh, about the uh, master's uh, degree we have here in computer vision so uh, dr shah if you want to take over Okay, thank you, thank you, Yogesh. Uh, so you guys see the PowerPoint? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm very happy to see um, all of you guys. Uh, so one big um, thing uh, for me is that um, this is a milestone that this class this fall has so many students, uh, close to hundred. Because when I started these classes a uh, long time ago, we used to have a hard time finding enough students to register for this course. So otherwise they were going to, you know, cancel the course. But I mean, this is amazing that so many students are taking this computer vision course. This is the fundamental course, the first course. So I want to talk about a couple of things, uh, mainly talk about the Master of Science in Computer Vision. Um, which we started this fall. And uh, at the end, I will, you know, advertise that I have a um, few openings for the spring semester for PhD students. And also for the fall, I have some fellowships if anybody is interested to pursue PhD. Okay, so this is a presentation uh, from Dr. Lobo, who is a graduate coordinator for this program. Um, and so, this is a new program and this is the only uh, you know, program offered by a public university in US. You know? uh, there is a program offered by CMU, but that's a private, uh, it's pretty expensive. So you know, it provides um, skills, uh, technical knowledge and latest machine learning and computer vision techniques. And of course, um, we are involved with the high tech partners, um, all these companies and local partners and um, all this, these courses um, you, you learn, we try to incorporate all the different works we are doing. So um, just the highlights, um, as Dr. Awat mentioned that we are you know, ranked top 10 in US uh, computer vision, so which is a big thing because as you know, there are lots of universities, lots of computer vision program. And we brought in close to $6 million in research funding, just four faculty in CRCV. And also the demand for computer science is growing in general. And um, the salaries are pretty high as uh, you guys know. Um, so, um, so our um, CRCV highlights are, you know, we got um, last uh, two weeks ago, there was uh, ICCV, we had six papers. And then we, in June, we had six papers in CVPR. The CVPR, um, you may know, is the fourth top venue to publish papers in all sciences. So that, number one is nature the New England Journal of Medicine and Science and the CVPR, which is amazing. It's a conference. So we are very proud that we are one of the, you know, more productive groups in computer vision. We keep publishing uh, papers in top venues. Uh, we got also Best Scientific Paper Award in ICPR, and we have other award here from NIST. We got lots of funding. And um, the on, on Test of Time Award and uh, many other things. So um, these are the areas of research. Um, and as you guys may know, that we have very nice um, 
YouTube channel. Uh, I have my computer vision course there, 2012 or 14. Now, of course, you know, you're learning deep learning. Um, and Dr. Awad also has last year course and he's putting this year. And besides the courses, we have PhD defenses, conference presentation, guest presentation, and lots of um, material there. Um, so these are the kind of um, statistics from these um, website, Glassdoor and, and Indeed. And there is, as you can see, that there is a lot of demand for computer vision engineers. Um, and uh, career progression for computer engineer is also very high. So um, we have um, top faculty, you know, including myself, Dr. Farosh, Dr. Mahalan Abbas, uh, Dr. Ranwad, um, Gita Stenkar, she teaches machine learning, and Yan Ji Fu is teaching right now machine learning, and Dr. Lobo. Um, then we have professor from mathematics department, Dr. Moore, of course, Dr. Award, and we have new faculty, Dr. Chen Chen, um, and Dr. Bachi, who is a courtesy faculty, and Raul Sudhankar, who works for Google, but he's also courtesy faculty. So the courses are simple, um, that we have these required courses, six courses, and you are taking this course. And I will offer, um, and this is a course being taught by Dr. Mahalabas this semester. And I will offer the advanced computer vision uh, next semester spring. And then the 3D computer vision medical imaging will be offered next semester by Dr. Chen Chen and machine learning. Then there are some elective courses which you can take, including independent study. So this is kind of schedule and um, um, admission requirement are standard um, for UCF. So the we require 30 credit hours beyond bachelors and um, the required course 18 credit hours electives and um, the independent study can be on projects and so on. So um, that's about the um, master's program. So I encourage you guys to register you know if you are if you want thinking about masters of science then computer vision will be a very good area it's a new area um and still there's a deadline for the spring or you can register for the apply for the fall and besides that i uh, as i said i'm recruiting good phd students so i have some openings for next spring um as a gra and also for the fall GRA and fellowship. So that's what I have. And um, if you guys have any questions, um, I'll be glad to answer. So there was a question from John. So are, are these uh, slides available, uh, Dr. Shah? Yeah, there is, a, I think the website. Um, <clears throat> so let me show you here. Um, how do I go to, this thing. So why why my things became okay? Good. Yeah. So if you go to CRCB website, um, let me share this again. Um, Okay, can you guys see the website? Yes, yes. Okay, so this is the CRC website. And if you do here, then it has a lot of information about Master of Science. And this is, the, I'm putting this in the chat box. Um, you can, you can go there. So we have a video presentation and all these details and how to apply and all those other things, um, plan of study and synopsis and graduate information. So you can look at that. Um, let me see here. So 
Yeah, so um, so the first question is, um, okay, uh, good. Yeah, so this, this video, as I said, um, on the website basically has those presentation. So the next question is, um, yeah, the next question is the same. The next question is, can we enroll an MS degree for CS? No, I mean, you have to register only one, either CS or the computer vision, okay? Uh, what's the difference between CS and MS student? Yeah, so I think the difference is that um, you will get a degree in computer vision, Masters of Science Computer Vision, which is a new, so which will attract a lot of, you know, you will get a lot of opportunity for a job because somebody is looking for, some company looking for computer vision engineer, they will prefer to have Master of Science in Computer Vision, which is more specialized compared to computer science. Other thing, because of that, you will take these all these six courses we have in computer vision. For computer science, you don't have to take any, any computer vision course. You can get a degree without that. So that's the main, main difference there. Uh, are there a lot of opportunity internship? Yeah, I mean, if you do well, then there are many companies, um, they want to hire interns in uh, computer vision. I get emails all the time. And some of our PhD students go for internship and they get you know, a lot of money. So that's also a way to ultimately get a job. So that's that's uh, also really good way to you know get introduced to different people. Uh, and typically, what happen that when you do internship, if you do well, they will just give you an offer. You don't have to interview. Uh, so that'll be good. Okay. So two question: Do any of LM classes have a RGB, non-RGB image analysis, IR. Yeah, so um, that's a um, good question about multi-spectrum imaging. Uh, yeah, so we um, have a course, computer vision system which Dr. Marlimbus teaches. So he covered the IR and multi-spectral. But see the basics you learn in computer vision course, even this course you are taking, other courses like course I will teach next semester. So those basics apply to all these imagery. There's no different because of learning, right? So like um, RGB is three channels and IR is one channel. Typically it's just uh, black and white. So you take any technique for RGB applied to IR, just repeat the, make three copies of IR. Now, multi-spectral has many channels, uh, 200 or so. Then you just have to, the convolution right now you are doing, the first one is say, if you apply three by three, then it's three by three by three, because they have three RGB channels. There you will have three by three by 200, okay? So instead of three, you will have 200. So otherwise it's, uh, it's the same. So yes, you can, you can do that. Can MS student take spring turn as well? Are they reserved? Yeah, no, these are, these are open. So anybody can take it. It's not necessarily you have to do masters in computer vision, you can do CS, that's fine. Um, don't require citizens and um, yeah, I mean, you know, the non-defense companies, they don't require, you know, citizenship. Like if you go work for Google, Facebook, Amazon, they don't require citizenship. Um, or even here, some, some companies, you know, like Sightown or some other companies. Having online classes is very nice Will these yeah, so that's what we are working on. So that's why this class um, is online in a way, Zoom. So that's ultimately we want to make this online degree. Um, if you are 
an excellent bachelor's and master's in computer science would then be swap. Yeah, you can swap from BS to MS, um, CV, and you know, um, that'll be fine. And send an email to Dr. Lobo, she will explain to you. Um, the where can we find list of restricted electives? So that's open. Um, and um, once you're admitted, then you can talk to Dr. Lobo and um, can work out the things. Is there a penalty increase requirement if we do switch? I don't think so. If you switch, it's, it's fine. You, because you, if you have taken these courses, you know, you will just count it like that. Do we, you, do you know salary range of CV contacts rather than full-time, part-time? Um, the salaries I show you is it was contracts. I don't understand. Yeah, I told you. I I gave you the numbers for the full time. Yeah, contracts. Sometimes that you know that job is not guaranteed there, so they can actually pay you more and no benefit. So I I don't know about that. Uh, what is entry salary? I showed you that. Working on my PhD in CS, one was will be able to work on the MS. I, I don't think it's a good idea to. If you are doing PhD, you don't need a master's degree. To <laughs> PhD is uh, much much uh, better than masters. So, and will this help us get only? MLL job with masters. Yeah, because see the the thing is, as you guys realize that vision is basically driving force for machine learning, deep learning, everything, right? The revolution started 2012 with ImageNet. When they got this very good performance, then everybody took it seriously. The deep learning is working. So computer vision is the, is the driving force for machine learning. As I told you, CVPR is the fourth best venue in all sciences, biology, economics, um, uh, physics, chemistry, everything. And if you look at the machine learning conference like ICML, NeurIPS, they are much, much lower than CVPR, so that tells you a lot, okay? Um, are there any requirements for credit hours per semester? No, I think the, the same, same, yeah, I mean, if you want to do full-time, I think you have to take nine credit hours per semester um, for to maintain your visa, I guess, but the local students can take any number. Okay, so I think um, there were lots of good questions. So does this program welcomes non-CS background students? Yeah, so that's, uh, I think that's a um, good question. So non-CS students can also do masters uh, because you see the CS, if you do master in CS, you have to do those three core courses, architecture, algorithms and complexity. So here you don't have to do as I showed you. So that's a big, um, if you are not interested in in the discrete math and all those things, then you can you can just transfer from you know non CS spec BS is, is fine. That's that's a good question. Um, okay, does this program welcome one? Okay, um, so what is selection criteria? Selection to be admitted is just, um, you know, you have to have certain GPA and so on. It's listed in the link I send you. You should look at that. So there's there's no special criteria. Switch from, so I think if you want to switch from MSCS to MSCV, you just have to uh, talk to College of Graduate Studies, you know, and you have to fill up a form and um, you can do that. Do you need prerequisite from, no. Okay, so let me actually share this thing again, just to make sure everybody understand. Um, 
So see that this is the what I showed you. So plan of study. Um, actually, what is the plan of study? MS degree requirement. Um, okay, so maybe let me share the presentation again. I think I'm sharing. I think that must have, right? Um, okay, here. So let's see. Okay. Um, yeah, so I think um, this is useful here. Um, so if you, you are you don't have, these are the kind of standard things, but if you don't have, then you have to take some, um, you have to demonstrate that you have knowledge of this kind of work, like uh, metrics, algebra, statistics, some um, that Dr. Lobo teaches is robot vision. So these are the non-major, you know. So that's um, what I think probably answered the question. Okay, so maybe dumb question. Yeah, um, prerequisite, okay. I mean the same thing as Katrin about the prerequisites. Yeah, uh, independent studies that you, instead of taking the um, course, you register a course with a professor. So you do independent research uh, study, and um, then maybe you can work on some project and so on. So that's the way it works. Um, okay, we've taken required course one. Well, this year, this semester, and one to switch. Does previous courses count? So the courses, yeah, I mean, those required courses will count, you know, the, as well as you are satisfying required courses like machine learning, computer vision, and um, advanced computer vision, and, you know, there's a list I showed you here, okay, it's here, sorry. Yeah, if you're taking any of these courses, they will count, okay? So if you have taken this one, it's count also. Um, yeah, that you can, I think um, the, um, yeah, the algorithms we don't have here, but you can talk to Dr. Lobo if you can replace for, you know, for the electives, okay? So, yeah. So, you know, uh, same questions to Dr. Lobo, and this is his address and uh, we can help you there. So I think this should be enough. Is that Yogesh, you have a class to teach also, okay? Yeah, I think all the answers are, yeah. questions are answered. So if they have yeah. any more questions, like they can either yeah. let me know, I will yeah. let you know, or they can directly contact yeah. Dr. Lobo. So, okay, yeah. and also, as I told you, if you are interested to do PhD, um, and uh, if you want support, um, please send me email and I'm recruiting good PhD students for spring. And also I have openings for the fall to be, you know, if you want to be a part of this exciting group. Um, okay, well, thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Shah. Bye.